We've been doing summons all week, but it is still Saturday, so we're going to do some more summons today. We are here on Hakumo's account. This is actually four accounts for the same person today. So whatever we, if we get good stuff on one account, but not another, don't feel bad. It's all the same. Where is his, uh, yeah, there it is. All right, Assassin's Creed, SWC 2022s. Are we good with the positioning on the screen? I don't know why I'm asking you guys. Uh, yeah, we should be good. Oh, okay. Maybe. Yeah, we'll just do these element ones first. And then we will... Oh, we'll see. Assassin's Creed. Right. They're all... <laughs> they're all both five stars and four stars. So. Wind Succubus could be a good combination with... Uh, the new Hall of Heroes that we just got. We will take a look at... Maybe not take a look, but we will discuss while we're doing this the four star we will discuss the four star we'll discuss the games that are coming out 244 here all right let's let's get this started luckily uh well maybe maybe i suppose it's not luck but it's nice that we can do these 10 pulls faster now Elementals. I need so many high elementals on that Europe server account. We did the the video with the 20 high elementals versus world boss. Some of those are skilled up, some of those are not. Some of those are fully grinded runes, some of those are not. So mostly the skill up issue. So I'm trying to go through and make sure all of those are skilled up now. But I wanted to do a version 1.0 and a version 2.0. So we can see eventually them side by side. I mean, I guess we'll pull, we'll pull up the first video and then be like, okay, how much more damage did it do now? So I'm curious because I think they're going to actually do pretty well. But I have a feeling, because this is how YouTube works, I have a feeling that people are not even going to watch the second one. They're going to be like, I already saw that. I'll be like, but it's max now. It's max damage. It's max potential. So we get to see what, what it's fully capable of now. The 20 Elena's. So far, not. It feels like this, the ten poles are. <laughs> Let's not fives are coming out of them now. <laughs> All right. We do have some, I believe, some new games. Hey, self. I'll take some of those though. Fusion. So we do have some new games added to the Google Play. St oh my goodness. Added to the Google Play Store. Where is his? There. Oh, it's not even near the summon portal. All right. We do have some games coming out on the Google Play. Well, I I don't know if they're coming out. I never know if they're actually coming out. I I because we don't know. They're just on there. They're like coming soon, and then they're like there for a year, and it's like okay, you weren't really coming soon then. Um. So what do we have? We have a game called Ace Racer by. Ex Expition Expitional Global? What the f what? Looks like a oh my good it looks like a need for speed meets F Zero. Actually it looks pretty it looks pretty solid graphically, but I can guarantee that this is not gonna be gameplay. It's gonna be just like the race plays itself and then you like shift or something. Because that's how these that's how a lot of these racing games go. Oh no, I guess I guess there is some it looks like there's some steering. Looks like a very It looks like F0 mixed with or or um need for speed mixed with F0. But I'm always skeptical of these racing games on mobile. Cause they like take the racing out. <laughs> so uh, what does it say? Ace Racer is a racing mobile game introducing innovative vehicles with ultimate skills. Experience various actual cars from legendary vehicle manufacturers like Porsche and Nissan, along with your own custom creation. Yeah, there's some crazy futuristic things. So, it looks like concept cars. Style. Sorry, your engines experience your own spin on vehicle ultimates along stunning racetracks. But is there actual racing? Not that mobile games have the best controls. It'd just be nice if there was actual racing. What is this next one? Over, Overlord of Chaos. 
be the Emperor. Let's see. Oh, there's monsters with star levels. One star, two star, three stars. Looks like a city builder kind of thing. Yeah, city builder RTS thing. With like Clash of Clans style graphics. You know, it's going to be very expensive to play. It's a mobile game. They're all very expensive to play. Nothing new. 84. Against War by Asobimo. Oh. Brand new. Q already has the Cookie Run Kingdom version of this, so we will choose the Ariel. And he already has a Belio too. I was I was checking to see what exactly he had, but Oh, we should have put these in storage while we were while we were off camera. Ripperonis. Although we could just keep summoning these to storage. It's not when it's like this, this ten pole, it's not really that much longer. So what were we talking about for a hey, fire cannon girl? Against war Hold on. I keep looking at this game every week, don't I? I mean it's still here every single week, but um yeah, this is just a Looks like a top-down RTS game. Meta World My City by Net Marble. Oh god. See, this is this is kind of what gives anything metaverse a bad name is all these things that are not really metaverses or not really anything. Oh, hey, here we go. Not really close to what the idea ultimately is going to be and they're like yeah no this is a metaverse spend lots of money like nope <laughs> no that's a scam that's some nonsense garbage uh yeah it, it looks like a super budget metaverse they're gonna they're gonna contact me they're gonna be like w we would like to sponsor you to promote this game and be like, oh god <sighs> How much do I need to pay the bills this month? Isn't that all, what it always comes down to? All right. Yeah, it, it just looks like a budget meta budget pretending to be metaverse experience. Sim Sim City, Sim uh, or the, Sim City slash The Sims. But, wasn't well, like that's basically already a metaverse. Kind of. No, we don't want that. Does he already have Fire Unicorn? He does have Fire Unicorn, so that's going to be a blessing. Got two blessings out of this one. Which, I'm sure we're not going to get anything from these mysticals, but at least we have... At least we have something for the... For the LDs. Could you imagine if they had LD blessings? I know you guys are thinking like, they, we don't get LD fives anyway. It doesn't really matter if it's an LD blessing. LD lightning. He already has this. I happen to see it in storage. Sadly. I could have just pretended that it, uh, that he didn't have it. Wow. It is a decent unit though. It's nice when your opponent's trying to control you and control you and control you and uh, you have that thing healing and shielding and throwing some of the CC back. Th in theory, it's a good unit to have high resistance on, but <laughs> resistance is just whatever resistance is. It, like it, it works when it feels like it and doesn't work. Yeah, it, it, it works on defense. This is great. You can never have too many of these. So, Dark Boomerang. Very nice. Two non-Hall of Heroes units. We will take it. Not going to get anything crazy on that uh, anyway. Do we have any information on... No. 
five more. I was trying to read to see what uh, if there was any wish list for LDs or something. Or Martina's a solid unit, though. I'm sure he's not bummed about that. Let's see what we get from these legendary scrolls. Can we pop both of these blessings? Get an Assassin's Creed unit. Which one? Unfortunately, neither of them are very premium units, even though they're both new units that just came out. We're going to go with the Water Ezio, but it's one of those situations where we just hope that this one gets a buff. I mean, they're going to get buffed regardless, but we don't know when. We don't know what the buffs are going to be. Hopefully, this one is going to be the better of the two, but we don't know. There's no way to know because it's come to us, and they I feel like they just literally roll the dice sometimes and say, Oh, this is what's, what's going to be the new skills. Let's roll a d20, and we'll see. Lands on one. They nerf it. Could you imagine? They really don't nerf a whole lot. Unless it's like a really aggressive, uh, really aggressive RTA unit. Or really aggressive unit, like, comes out and it's ridiculous. Very strong. So. I think we got, uh, at least we're getting scallops for the Nat 5 version. Or you could build them, whatever. See if we got any good, uh, any other good. There's never any good mobile games. Right. Right, right, right. I want to say, let's see, let's see if we got any good mobile games coming out, but any other good, uh, mobile game. what is this? It's a pixel art. I don't even know what this is, and I don't, I don't want to. Oh, well, it kind of looks like Guardian Tales. Gameberry Studios. I mean, it's not Guardian Tales, though, so. Hunter Raid. It's like an idle game. Sadly. You know, there's never, there's never anything good coming out. I, I, I've seen some of you guys' comments. You're like, why are you talking about all these games? Like, I, I never like any of the games. Like, because they're, they're, they're bad. <laughs> or maybe not. Like, they, some of them occasionally have potential, but. New Overdupe. Very nice. Some of them occasionally have potential, but they're mobile games, so you know that they took the gameplay out and they added a crap ton of microtransactions. So there's almost no reason. What is this game? We should not even call them games anymore. We should just call them mobile uh, recurring payment applications. <laughs> Mo mobile finance apps. All right, I shouldn't, uh, I shouldn't skip this. Lost Worlds Beyond the Page. What is this? You have a journal. And? I don't know. Oh, and then you... Actually, this one could be decent. So, it looks like an indie Steam game, but it's a mobile game. PID Games. What does PID Games do? Oh, this is the this is the developer that did... Or the publisher, maybe. Looks like a publisher, not a developer. It, yeah, this one, they, it seems like they've made some decent indie ish games or publish some decent indie ish games lost world beyond the page it looks like a yeah it looks like an indie style game i think it's artistic there's a notebook there's things drawn in the notebook looks like watercolor uh, art style and kind of reminds me of uh well i always liken things to other stuff but whatever yeah, that's that seems like it might be the the most decent one. I'm just gonna close all these out. We don't care about them. We don't really care about them. All right, what do we get? Fire succubus. Succubus might be a little bit more popular now with everyone getting the dark hypnomio. What do we have a game called Passed Out. Which looks... Hey, we got a net 5. Oh, unfortunately, this is not like a crazy one. You need to combo this. But, yeah. Fire Pudding Princess. <sighs> Two Transcendence. Let's go. So, Passed Out looks like... Uh, now we're on Steam. Taking a look at Steam stuff. This is a solid unit. 
even without scallops, you don't actually need scallops for that. But let's see. Let's see if they have it built already. I don't think I. Oh, they have the Dark Art Master. And they have a dupe of this, but they may want to keep it. If they, they have a dupe chow too. They have okay. They have lots of dupes. I have a feeling that they really like the occult girls. Those are the ones that ha they had out, and they have plenty of dupe occult girls. So, I'm sure if they really want to feed, I mean, they could have used them for blessings earlier. That's that's my that's my logic. If they really wanted all the blessings, hey, there we go. They could have used them earlier. But I, I think that they might actually want dupes of these things for some crazy reason. I was going to feed that. We don't really need to feed. We're almost done with this account anyway. Wind espresso. How long is he saving scrolls? Since the cookie collapse. Man, these cookie monsters are... They keep putting new monsters out and then they're mediocre and then they move on to the next new monster which is also mediocre and then the next new monster which is also mediocre like a couple cookie run kingdom monsters are decent a couple a couple there's still so much like this one is actually pretty decent he's got this uh second skill right here attacks all enemies def uh, decrease defense and increase their cooldown by one turn it's only one turn but uh, and then the second one is attack the enemy to set the attack bar to zero, decrease target's HP by up to 40%, up to 10% if it's in a boss, in proportion to the reduced attack bar. I actually don't hate this unit. So, this might be a decent unit for RTA. Oh, we have to create a summoning list. All right, let's do that then. I should probably do that. There's a lot of good units. He didn't tell me to do this, but... Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Wow, there's a lot of, there's a lot of good units he's missing. Okay. Savannah, though! Oh, Savannah! We have to put Savannah in there, right? Don't we have to put Savannah in there? Josephine's very strong, but... Let's do these. Let's do these. All the new ones. Shall we? Yes. And we get... I, I feel like it wouldn't take that much to make him a good unit. I just would prefer Lauren in that spot. All right, let's go on to the next one. Account number two, same person though. Looks like he's not really doing too much uh, crystal refreshes to farm. Looks like he's not really doing too much farming either. Seven thousand, what is it? 7,294 energy. Jeez, I mean, I know Comp to Us gives a lot more energy nowadays, but I don't know about that much energy. So it looks like it's been racking up for quite a while. But he's got so many accounts and there's so much to do in Summoner's War every single day that I feel like what the likely situation is is that he's got like one device and he like does a little bit of whatever and then he goes on to the next account, does a little bit of whatever, logs off, goes on to the next account, does a little bit. Basically what we're doing here is doing a little bit of whatever and <laughs> like logging off and going on to the next account. You got to get like seven, uh, seven tablets. Well, I don't, I don't think he has seven accounts. We, he might have seven accounts. I don't know, but his like entire guild is just his account, just all his accounts. <laughs> oh my god, uh, we've seen it before, right? We've seen it before. It's like just guilds of the same person's account over and over and over and over again, like ten accounts, twenty accounts, or bot accounts, sometimes. Like an entire guild is just made up of just software created accounts. They're just all these uh all these brand new beginner accounts. More often on the China server than anything else. But like that was a real pro I don't know if it's still as big of a problem on the China server, but China server had a real problem with just I mean, I guess it de depends on who you ask, whether it's a problem or not. But China had so many 
um, just accounts that were created by software to just run through scripts to do up to Feynman, see if they get an LD5. If they um, if they do get an LD5, then it goes on the market, and if they don't get an LD5, then it is reset. So that's why you see so many crazy LD accounts on uh, on China server. It's ridiculous. But I don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's still as. I don't know if Comp2 was cracked down or they just weren't able to sell as many accounts or something. So, oh man, I keep forgetting about that one. The Fire Robo. Fire Robo is so good sometimes, and I don't pick him. Like we were, we were using him, but then I forget about him. Like if it's not in one of the. If I take it out of a slot, then, like for, for the RTA slots, the World Arena um, favorites, then sometimes I forget that it exists. Because there's, ah, there's so many favorites. There's so many favorites. There's so many units that are, like, usable in this, uh, in this situation or that situation. But... Let's see if we have any other good Steam games coming out. I think we started to touch on it, but... We did not continue. I was wondering what, I was, wondering what was going on. Alright. It's like a brand new Nat 7. First one. Okay, so this is a game called Passed Out, which is a... Looks like PUBG Battle Royale. I'm actually surprised people are still making more games. Well, I, I guess they make money, so why not? Basically looks almost identical to PUBG, though, from what I can see. There's a game called Wuji Daoren, which is a top-down... No, not a top-down. It's... What, are the, what do they call... There's a name for that. The angle where it's not completely top-down. It's like from an angle, like this. Samurai game in black and white. Very stylized. Let's actually read the description. Wuji Del Ren. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so very beautiful. Wuji Del Ren is a physics-based, physics-based fighting game that can put you back into the classic kung fu films. Plays the mighty hero to challenge the most dangerous villains in the world and bring peace to the people. Very interesting. Phys there was another physics space game. I'm sure there's lots of physics space games. Rather, I know there's lots of physics space games. Um, physics based fight. Well, there is a actually a handful of physics based fighting games, so that's not new. The art style with that though is is different. Beer Factory Prologue. Oh my god, we gotta we gotta actually see all these games, or at least. Explain what they are. Trails to Azure. What is that? WWE 2K23. I'm surprised Beans doesn't have any... Well, she probably does have WWE games. And I just didn't notice... Beer Factory Prologue. Beer Factory Prologue is a business simulation and management game. Take challenge and manage your own beer factory. Employees, production lines, as well as the import and export of merchandise. <laughs> what will they think of next? These are just jobs. These are just job simulators now. That's going to start being on resumes. Like, played Beer Factory. Maybe not Beer Factory, but... Kind of get the feeling that people are training <laughs> for jobs with these uh, Steam games. Curious though. I mean, why not? They're just simulators. Oh, what is this? Phantom Thief. I tried doing a video of the Water Phantom Thief in RTA, like first picking. Um, it went really bad. It's like surprisingly bad. 
Like, you would think that it would be, like, fairly similar to a lot of the other off-meta things. It was like, I, there's no reason it should have done as... Because, like, he's actually... You could use him. But for whatever reason, it was not working. I, maybe it was just really bad RNG that day over and over and over again. I don't know. But he, it was so much worse than all the other crazy stuff we've... We, I think it was just not... I think it was just not working. Like, his skills were just not activating ever. So, I think it was just bad RNG. Potion Tycoon. Potion Tycoon is a management simulator with a witchy twist. Build and develop your very own magic shop. Manage resources, set up production lines, mix potions, and sell them smartly to, to stay ahead of the competition. Welcome to the potion. These are all just simulated. Like, these games are not even games anymore. You look at Steam games, they're not games. You look at uh, mobile games, they're not games. No. These companies are like, yeah, we don't we don't really want to make games. Oh, there's nothing we could jiggle. I suppose we'll do that. That's that's gonna have to be good enough. Rough Justice 84. Oh god. Do what it takes to make your fledgling security agency thrive in this 80s noir crime busting, dirty crossing, vengeance seeking, board game inspired strategy game with dice and car. Oh, Jesus. It's an 80s. It's an 80s card board game on PC. No, well, we're on LDs. We don't really need to talk about other games. These are the exciting ones. If fun things happen, which they often don't. So we should get two LD lightnings from this amount of scrolls. So we're probably going to get zero. This is what happens when mediocre jiggles. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna take things out to jiggle them because we're just not getting anything. Oh, someone got a lightning emperor. find some it's gonna have to work <laughs> it doesn't it, it's it's not even close it's not even close to working it's not even close to being whatever I suppose we'll just get bad RNG and we'll have to live with it I guess all right we've been getting her on handful of accounts past week or so that's at least one we could get a second one maybe it's not gonna happen because I'm I, I don't feel like jiggling again or whatever that mediocre piss poor uh version of jiggling was yeah, this is what happens when you don't... This is why we have to. This is why we have to. In my imagination. Win Magic Knight? Is this a Nat 5? This is the first Nat 5 of the of this uh this account. Okay, new overdupe. Win Striker. When he works, he does really good. When he doesn't work, which seems like it's more often that he doesn't work, uh, he doesn't do very good. Ripperinos. He might be good one day. A lot of these Nat 5s that aren't good turn out to be good after a while. So... They have been addressing him in balance patches. When was the last balance patch? Let's think. That's something we actually care about, I think. Wow, that video did so. Uh, it did. Wow, it did really bad. This newer video. Let's see when the last balance patch was. Shall we? It's 
so we can try to figure out when the next one is going to be. Usually it's pretty easy to find because it's giant letters that say balance patch on the thumbnail. So I do not see. I do not see it. Oh, here it is. So we should be getting one at the end of the month or beginning of next month. So like three weeks. Three weeks. It's gonna be doo doo. Hopefully it's not doo doo. But hey, speaking of not doo doo, this is actually a great unit. I think that's a very underrated. I think Fire Monkey is a very underrated unit in the current. Well, I want to say the current meta, but there's so many people using the Water Holly Berry. That's. Well, you're not going to be bringing him into every match, though. But if you know your opponent is trying to control you, that's a great, great pick. I gotta just start cleaving. Because control teams, uh, they, they don't really work. <laughs> I mean, they do work. They do. However, hey, here we go. All right. I mean, a lot of these are, uh, he's more useful than the other ones, I feel. Than the other Bayex. But. Yeah, when when you just go through matches and like none of your skills activate. Like if it's like, oh, these things have debuffs, it's like they but they don't activate anything. It's like, okay. I don't know what I'm really supposed to do then. You know? Water stick boy. I mean cry, I guess, is is an option. All right, let's do these cookie run scrolls. And then we'll do the transcend. We should do the transcendence last on these. Because those are the most exciting ones. Hopefully we get some, some good units here. Because so far for this one, we, we really didn't get we got the fire monkey's decent. Let's do this. There's a lot that are There's a lot that are good. I don't know if he's got the other one though. You could go either. Like this is just a taste preference now. <sighs> this one's good though, too. There's a lot of these. There's a lot. There's a lot that are good. There's a lot that are good. Ciara, Diana, Savannah, oh, Oliver. Oh my goodness. Man. We're not going to get them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I think it would be great to get any of these, but. Yeah, we'll just we'll just throw those in there. Because we're not going to. Yeah, we're, we're not going to get a nat 5 anyway. So. LD. We have two guaranteed net fives. Actually, let's see if the Fire Monkey is a dupe or not. We picked up a few blessings. I just want to try to get some new units versus uh, versus some old stuff. So maybe we shouldn't do these at home. New, we'll take it. Solid. They're never gonna build it, <laughs> but we'll take it. This is well. Let's let's see if this is new or dupe. All right, so that's new. Also, there we go. We got some new things. Not too shabby.
On to account number three now. This is starting to remind me of the old Saturday morning summons where we would do like 10 accounts, but everyone had like 50 scrolls or whatever because it was so much harder to get scrolls back in the day. Let's start with these. I did, oh geez. Uh, I did get them some extra blessings or one extra blessing, I suppose. It was going to get them more, but. Garrow. Poor Garrow, man. Multi hit meta. Additional damage destroyed that unit. There's just... He's just... No, he was good. And then he was nowhere. Artifacts came out and people realized the additional damage is pure damage. And... And then he was gone. And then there was none. I mean, he's still around. He just... No one really uses him. Maybe in... Siege occasionally, I suppose. I haven't used him in forever, so. There's just everything multi hits. I guess against a. Uh, against, like, Odin defense, possibly. Possibly could still be useful. Speaking of guy, man, maybe he's going to be in the next patch. I guess we'll see. Like, this is his buffed version, too. Like, he was just a super RNG unit in the beginning. Sometimes he would go crazy. Sometimes he would do nothing. Sometimes he was, like, impossible to kill. And most of the time, he was just very easy to kill. So... Let's see. Black tea bunny. I always hope that these bounce patches are going to be impactful. But. Or at least fun. At least bring some units that are low tier into the meta. I'll like buff some of these new things. I don't want things to. I mean, I, I think a lot of us are in the same. Oh, here we go. Does he have Water Ryu? If he doesn't have Water Ryu, we will get him the... The more. He doesn't have more. He doesn't have Water Ryu. So we're going to choose this one. Both are pretty good units, though. We still have another... Oh, we should have taken... We should have put these in storage while we were... Whatever, it's fine. What other games do we have there coming out? Life of Delta. Uh, this kind of looks like a Borderlands. A side sc side scroller <laughs> Borderlands. It looks good though, actually. Embark on a journey through a vast post-apocalyptic environment. See? Full of interesting characters and engaging puzzle games in this sci-fi point-and-click adventure game. Man, I want to play Borderlands now. There's so many good PC games. You play mobile games too long and then like you think that all games are kind of like whatever. Man, there's so many good PC games. Like there's so there's so many games that are on my bucket list. Like things I want to do before I'm before I'm gone. It's like play video games, which is something that I do every single day, but Summoner's War is not really playing a video game. It, it just doesn't feel like playing a video game anymore. And it hasn't felt like that for a long time. You guys, that's the thing that you're going to... Uh, this whole video, that's the thing that you're going to timestamp. You're going to be like, oh, I knew, I knew that you weren't... You didn't feel the same way about the game as... Because it's just nonsense now. It's just... It's just nonsense now. It's just like... Everyone p it picks the same units because they're more effective and they're more efficient and you have to play the meta. If you don't play the meta, then we're... Yeah. Oh, here we go. But yeah, the mobile games just... They're, they're barely games. It's not just Summoner's War. It's... I, I would argue that Summoner's War is... Has more gameplay than, than most mobile games. But, yeah, they're all, they're all so... Mm. 
not uh, not very not very great. I mean, there's there's some mobile games that I think are, are really good. Uh, Guardian Tales. Oh, here we go. I don't know if this is new or dupe. Guardian Tales is, uh, in my opinion, a great game. Genshin, but that's not really a that's not really a mobile game. Genshin just happens to be on mobile as well. It's got actual gameplay. You have to play the game. You can't just not play. <laughs> if you want to do anything in the game, you have to actually play. And there's gameplay. Guardian Tales, I always uh, appreciate. E Epic Seven is another great one, but I feel like it's a on Muji. We just did a video on uh, a sponsor video for on Muji, but that game has actual gameplay. It's been a while since I picked it up. I actually meant to uh, to tinker around with it some more, but yeah, I mean it's 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 similar in. It's similar in functionality to Summoner's War. So, it is as much of a game as Summoner's War is. One of the things that bummed me out about that game, which, I'm just going to be honest, is the the things that are time-based. Is like, you have to be, like, you can't do this content unless you are on at a specific time of day. Because it's not available in other times. So, that was kind of a bummer. What am I looking for? Oh, we're looking for Segment. Segment is a dupe, so we fed for a blessing. I don't know which ones, that, which dupes he wants to keep or not keep, but they're missing enough nat fives on these accounts that I feel they should be feeding a little bit more for blessings if they're not going to build these things. Because I mean, you like Segment, she's got a couple uses, namely RTA outspeeding things, but. I don't really think Sekhmet is a unit that you need to build multiple of. I feel like the... Let's take a look at the dupe list. I can't imagine it's going to be very high in the dupe list, though. Water Griffin. Water Griffin was surprisingly... I mean, people use him. Uh, usually, they use him with... Nora, but dupe usage poll. Let's see. Let's see if we can find. Sorry, of course, we can find segment. Eighty-four <laughs> percent feed segment, feed second segment. I actually surprised it wasn't higher. Eighty-four percent is pretty high, though. Man, I wish these Assassin's Creed units were stronger. It's just kind of like a bummer to have them come out and be like, oh, they're not really exciting. But that is the game that we play. Why can I never find... I can never find the buildings that I was just at. Jiggle? I'll jiggle. We got nothing to jiggle. Okay. Man. This game... If Pokemon never came out, this game would not be a thing. Light Lich. Good for arena defense for rush hour. Some people use him way too much. Like, during the middle of the week and in inter-server. Inter-server, I really don't think that he should be a thing. Unless there's a specific gimmick trap team that you're bringing him into. Or or that, that, you're, that you're running on defense. Okay, here we go. Light Anubis. Not bad. Fun monster. I... Prefer, personally, I prefer Anvil though. It as far as a unit that defense breaks at not that not that defense break as either the, uh, as far as a unit that does an AOE cleanse heal um, that also happens to have a defense break in their kit. I just think about like any place where I would need to use the light Anubis or want to use the light Anubis. Um, 
Like, I feel like I would rather just have Annabelle because she can just keep procking with her skill one to get her skills more. I just, I'm a huge, and oh, okay. <laughs> Already awakened, uh, he ain't a big Annabelle fan. I never thought I would I would be such a big big uh, Anivel supporter. We got a Dark Jack Lantern. I know some people like to use him in single target snipe teams. I think that there's some cleave teams that are potentially could be used more in RTA. Just like whatever it is like an old meta team that people aren't expecting, I think could be a nice. I mean, people still people still run that sometimes. So I'm not saying that that's not something that people use, but it got less popular. So I think that could still be nice because people wouldn't be expecting it. But as soon as they start seeing these things picked, then they're just going to bring, uh, like, Leo, right? So you got to just get used to your opponent uh, picking Leo against you every single match. Unless people don't have Leo, but most, most people doing RTA have Leo. I would be willing to bet on that. That at least three quarters. He's an old unit. And yeah. I'd be willing to bet that at least three quarters of the people playing have Leo. Or more. Three quarters or higher. Not the unit more. <laughs> three quarters or higher. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. Jeez. Like my stomach's making all these. No, I'm on a diet right now because every time Beans is out of town, I go on a diet. So I'm basically just I'm pretty aggressive diet because when she's in town, she just shoves everything in my face. So I eat like all kinds of nonsense. So when she's out of town is is basically just chicken breasts and like vegetables. That's it. So, like, keep it under 1,500 calories. Under 1,000 if I can. But sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it's just not enough. Sometimes I'm like, man, I got to eat more than, like, 800 calories today. Because I'm starving. So, but, yeah. And it's usually just a week. Not that I have to be crazy for, like, six months. I couldn't, I, I, I'd be dead if I was eating like 800 calories a day for six months. I wouldn't be functional. One month even, I, it wouldn't be a functional. But. Here we go. We don't need to do brand yet. We fed Chow. They're missing so much stuff that we don't really need to keep a dupe Chow here. If they had a whole bunch of stuff already, then I'm sure we might have kept the dupe Chow, but there's still so much that they're missing. What else do we have for games coming out? Because we kind of said, well, let's let's finish on the other, the other one. Because we're almost done with this account. Not too much left. Some premium cookie and... Assassin's Creed Scrolls. I just wish a lot of these units were more useful. I also wish we got more Second Awakens, but... Yeah, let's go Assassin's Creed. Like, it's hard to get excited about these if it's like, eh, they're mediocre. Like, they're not even at the level of the things that we currently have. So they're they're actually subpar. Most of the Assassin's Creed units they are we are not as good as the things that are already in the game. So a 
Let's see. Juicy? No. Usable? Usable. All right, let's get this uh, LD cookie run. I, I almost, it sounds terrible to say, regret not doing cookie run kingdom content. Almost. Because I was aware of it when it came the cookie run. Um, oh, a dark one. There we go. Because uh, there's two cookie run kingdoms. Or there, there's two cookie run games. Cookie run kingdom. I regret. I almost regret. I don't actually regret. Because I we could have done stuff. We could have done videos on the second channel for that game. Not here, but just the second channel. But then Comp to us got involved, and I'm like, okay, I don't ever, I don't really regret anymore. I don't want anything to do with more, uh, more Comp to us games. So, Water Magic Knight, solid unit, very rare, very, very rare, very hard to get. Lols. <sighs> There's a lot of people that would pick Bellinus. I personally think Jogun is a fantastic unit. This is a matter of preference. There is not too many units that do what he can do. I mean, aside from like the other art masters, really. So I'm going to go for this. There are other units that defense break. Some people would pick Bellinus, and it's perfectly fine. I think Jogun is a fantastic unit. Hey, there we go. Okay. Last transit. That's a that's a decent enough dupe to have for siege at the very least. And which one? Hey, nice new unit. Um, again, in my opinion, subpar. I know some people just uh, just paid attention to the the title of the video without actually watching the video that we did on her. I was like, no, I don't think she's better than Charlotte. It's like, I don't think so either. Please watch the video to, instead of just reading the title. <laughs> I'm like I, I, we agree. Stop arguing with me if we both have the same opinion. <laughs> I, I don't like it. Always happens. All right, let's go on to the next, uh, the next one. Last account. Hopefully, it is the best of all of them. Let's see how many scrolls we have. I assume that we have fairly similar to the rest of them. Yes, we do. Let's get, uh, let's get start with the fire ones, and then we'll. Could be good for siege. I built it, I maxed, uh, did I max it? Is it completely maxed? I skilled it up, I don't remember if it's completely maxed. I think it might be completely maxed. Because we have the event going on. But it is possibly a siege unit. In my opinion for siege though is, well for a lot of things, if it's a bruiser of some kind, it generally needs a passive to be effective, to be even useful because Defenses are going to be coming in strong. Excuse me. So. Man, I got to build. If I don't have the wind string master on the main, I got to build that. That's a solid unit. It's not a very fun unit to use, but it works sometimes. I mean, it works, but... It's sometimes a good pick. Not always, but... Like, for example, if you... If your opponents are going in with a fast team, strip things, take a bunch of turns, you can bring that in. It's good against Diana, it's good against Oliver. It's good against a lot of things that are supposed to take turns and do damage. But they need to take multiple turns. So... Hey, there we go. All right, what other games do we have coming out? We have a game called Mile High Taxi, which literally says in the description, Fifth Element Meets Crazy Taxi. That's exactly what it is. We have The Wreck, which is a story game. It's a... Yeah, it's just all story game. I think this is a... Uh, I think this is a lesbian love story. Possibly. I don't know. I don't know the story. Uh, <laughs> Legend of Heroes, Trails to Azure. 
This is in the Legend of Heroes franchise. Looks like a 20-year-old PlayStation RPG. But some of those 20-year-old PlayStation RPGs were good. So it possibly could be good. Just temper your expectations. Looks like a PlayStation 2 game. Uh, Vernal Edge, which looks like a... It's like a Metroidvania side-scroller game. Also looks kind of like 20 years old. But on purpose. Vernal Edge is a 2D action-packed Metroidvania featuring intense combat system, tight platforming sequences, and a powerful sword of rivalry, revenge, and growth. Let's see, Barinos. What do we have? Mortal Sin. Oh god, this looks terrible. Yeah, we don't even need to... They have three colors in the entire game. It looks like a, a very old book. But they just... I mean, it's definitely stylized. Intense action horror roguelike where you must hack and slash your way through an endless nightmare. Yeah, but it's so weird looking. It looks like a... It looks like a... Looks like an illustrated book that they painted. Uh, what is this one? Flame Keeper, dynamic action roguelite that sees you restore the eternal flame flames stolen by creatures of shadow, fight through a rogues gallery of monsters in diverse biomes using fiery combat skills. No sweat for a lump of coal like you. Eh, it looks cute, actually. They said it's a roguelite? Yeah, it looks kind of like a... Kind of like a third-party Nintendo game, actually. Like, a little cutesy. Anthology of Fear, take part in a one-man investigation. Okay, so it's an investi first-person investigation game. Horror kind of investigation. WWE uh, 2K 23. Looks good. The graphics just keep, get uh, keep getting better and better. Well, this might not be in-game. Yeah, maybe the in-game graphics. It was like a looked like it might have been a cutscene. They just keep getting better and better. Like all these sports games. Ghost of Tabor, which looks like a Call of Duty style game. VR oh VR only FPS PvP PvE survival game will use your wits, skills, and resources to survive, inspired by games such as Escape from Kar Tarkov and Daisy, featuring different uh, scenarios from scavenging to looting to crafting. Let's shove these in here. Uh, no, let's shove these in here. Getting all these cookie run monsters. It's not the right collab. Come to us. Ghosts of Tabor. And the last one, Deceive Incorporated. Sweet Bandit Studios. Undercover is the world's greatest spies in this. Oh, it's the best monster. Here we go. Um, tense multiplayer game of subterfuge. Disguise as anyone. Deploy an arsenal of high tech. This is this has got to be the same devs that that made uh, the other game, right? Deploy an arsenal of high tech gadgets or neutralize the competition. As long as you extract with the objective, no trick is too dirty when you work for Deceive Incorporated. Oh, I guess they did not make the other game. What game am I thinking of? I don't know what game I'm thinking of. I don't know the name of it. Window and Amusho? Let's see. I was hoping this was going to be the best account. Save all the juice for the end. Maybe when we get like triple LD5s, that'd be, that'd be good. But they wanted an LD5 on their main, which we did not. The accounts all look the same, but the main was the last one that we summoned for. Don't know why I skipped that, but I knew it wasn't going to be an F5. Just had that feeling. Sedge. 
Can you believe we're still doing summon videos after after almost a decade? We've been doing summon videos for almost a decade. Oh my god. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Anything good? Sad. Not a bad unit to have a dupe of, though. So we might keep that. I suppose we'll see. We'll see if there's something else that we can feed for blessing. I thought we had a blessing over here. We got the LDs. Oh, nope. They're popping that up at the very end, aren't they? Dupe Leo. Triple Leos. But people like Leo for Siege. Dupe Camilla. I, I don't know if he wants to feed some of these dupes. If we get another dupe, we will possibly feed it. Some of those are decent dupes to get. So, ready for the LDs. So, may as well jiggle some LD5s. Lulz, I think I'm funny. We have 40. All right, let's get these triple LD5s now. Could you imagine if there was actually a... Like a special thing to trigger an LD5 summon from the server. There might be, but who knows what it even is. I mean, if people did know what it was, they would have ridiculous accounts. Oh, wait, that happens all the time on China server, but there's just people that are really, really rich. And apparently they believe that summoners were <laughs> the best use of all that money. Although this is that's how it is with a lot of mobile games. Nothing new. All right. LD. Perfect. Now we need two more. No, that's a very, very, uh, that's a very fun LD to get. Very fun. Shall we jiggle Ifrit's again? I mean, it worked, so. Let's do it again. Why not? Second, Asima. At least, at least we finished it with a bang, right? Good way to end the video. So we get five Leos. All right. Uh, it's still we'll take it. We're we're low on the uh, the LD lightning rate, but if you get a Sema, it's kind of all you need, right? Better than getting. Above the average, but only crappy Hall of Heroes. <laughs> All right. Wind Anubis. I should use that more. I should use that more too. There's so many units in the game. Yeah, you can't you can't use everything every day. So well, let's see if we can get some maybe maybe we can get a dupe of something and then feed for a blessing. This way we can get a blessing. Better chance to get something new. Man, what is this game that I'm thinking of for Deceive Incorporated? Not that anyone cares, but there's a game. This is like a social... Let me find Among Us. Because it's a game that's like Among Us. Pummel Party. Nope, that's not it. 
I don't even know what any of this stuff is. Okay. Whatever. I guess I guess we're not gonna find it. Water Phantom Thief. Which one? Another water one. I feel she could be useful. The third skill is pretty interesting. Second skill is just an AoE attack, uh, AoE defense break, which is not bad. But hey, here we go. Water Weapon Master. Let's see, new or dupe? It is a dupe. And they didn't even, okay, we're gonna feed this one. Two blessings. Let's see. Let's see. I hate saying, let's see what winds up happening, but in Summoner's War, anything we've learned over almost a decade of this game is we don't know what's going to happen. Let's see if things work. Let's, let's see if we get monsters. Let's see if we get like things that are usable. Let's see if the skills activate. Let's see if the things crit. It's, it's mostly just wait and see how luck turns out. I'm going to use better judgment. I, I think they have multiple of the water uh, unicorn. So personally, I think this is a fantastic unit. We're going to go with John. They did not say either way. Both of them were new. Although the other one is easy to skill up. However, I, I think John's a fantastic. Unit. John, I think, also has a really high, not really, like, not crazy, but like a above average win rate in RTA, surprisingly. Let's do it. Okay. I wish I wish these could well, I, I I just hope that the next balance patch is a good one. We need a good balance patch. There's so many balance patches. That, oh here we go. This is a useful unit. Very nice. So many balance patches that happen, and we're like, you know, a week later, it's like, oh what got what got buffed in the balance patch? What got changed? And we can remember like three. Units, maybe, maybe five, but hey, there we go. But a lot of them are just, we forget what's even in it because it's very, it's very uneventful. Whew, there's so many, so many nice ones, so many nice ones. Oh my god, there's so many good things. Like I I'm just picking some good ones. I'm not like there there's there's a lot. There's a lot of good things that would be would be nice on this account. I don't even know what the what the rest of the stuff they have is, but There we go. And we'll do our two transcendence and we will call it a day. Okay, that's not what I was expecting, but Dark Brownie Magician could be a decent combination with the new Hypno Meow. This is too meta to pass up, but Beth is a... I, I'm wondering if they would like Beth more. He's asleep right now, so there's no way I can ask. But this is, this is so... Like, either way, Masha is not... Not a bad pick. I'm just curious if... Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he wants Beth as well. Very nice. Very, very nice. We actually got some good... We got some good stuff here. I think this account might have made out better than the other ones. I <laughs> think we're going to stick this in storage. That's why I'm not going to lock it. But yeah, this one feels like... And we also got, we also got more stuff, didn't we, on here? I'm trying to remember which account I had which... Toys. So, oh yeah, the Tiana. All right. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see. Hope you guys getting some good summons on your own account. I will see you as always in the next one.